Creating contacts is an easy way to stay in touch with your clients and customers without having to remember their email addresses and phone numbers. You can add a contact manually or directly from an email. To add a contact manually, we're going to go into our People Hub. If I click People on the Navigator, I'm going to get taken into what's called the People Hub. This is a simplified view of all my contacts. Now, if I want to change that view, I can select Business Card or Card View. But I'm going to go back to the People Hub for now. To create a new contact, select New Contact from the Home ribbon. And now I can put in as much or as little data as I have about that contact. If I have more than one email address for a contact, I can simply use the pull-down menu and choose another one and then put it here. I can even come here to the notes section and add some notes about that contact. Now, you'll notice the business card in the top corner is being populated for all this data that I put in. I can come over here and double click to add a contact picture. I'm just going to browse my file system and choose a picture. Here she is, so I'm going to click OK. And now my business card is complete. When I'm all done, I have two options. I can hit Save and Close, and this will bring me back to the People Hub. Or I can hit Save and New. This will create a new contact. However, there's one more option that I want to do. If I click on this pull-down, I can choose Save and New, which saves this contact and will create a new one from the same company. If I click it, you'll see that it's going to keep a bunch of this information already populated, including the company because it assumes that the same person is going to have all the same data, and now I don't have to waste time putting it in more than once. I can change any information that I want in here. For example, I better change the picture. I can double click, and it's going to pop up the same dialog where I can choose a different picture. Once I'm all done, now I can hit Save and Close. So my two new contacts are in place. There's one more way I can create a contact, and that's from an email. I'm going to go back to my mail. I want to add Mark to my contacts. So I'm going to go up here to the top of the email and right-click on his name. From here, I can choose Add Outlook Contacts. This is going to open up a little bit of a different dialog box. This is more like the People Hub dialog box. I can change this if I want, change his email address, or put in a new one. When I'm happy with all this stuff, I can click Save. I can close out of this, and if I come back to my People Hub, I can see that Mark's been added. Now there's a couple more things. The first is that whenever I'm in this People Hub, it's important to note that if I try to edit a contact, I'm kind of limited. If I double-click on this contact, I'm given a nice clean-looking UI, but all the data's not there for me to change. I can add an email address if I want, or I can click these pluses and add an IM. But you'll notice that there's a lot of things that aren't here. That's fine. I'm going to hit Cancel on this one and close out of this. And now I'm going to change to my business card view. It's the same contacts, but they look a little bit different. When I'm in any other view except the People Hub, I can double-click to go into a contact, and this is where I get that main screen that I saw right when I was first creating the contact. I'm going to close out of this and go back to my People Hub, because there's an additional option that you get in the People Hub that you don't get in any other view. You can link contacts. Over time, you probably have this huge contact list that you've taken with you from company to company, and you may have several of the same contacts in there. You can actually link those so Outlook knows that they go together. I'm going to click on this contact here and choose Link Contacts. Here's where I can specify another contact that I want to link. I'm going to type a name, and it pulled up the contact that I want to link this one to, because they're actually the same person. I can select it, click OK, and now Outlook knows that they are, in fact, the same person. There's one more thing I want to show you. If I hover my mouse over the People view, I get a list of favorites that I can pull up. From here, I can highlight their name, and if they have an email address, I can choose the email envelope and very quickly pop off a new email to that person. To get somebody into your favorites, right-click on their name in the People Hub and choose Add to Favorites. 
Now, whenever I hover my mouse over the People Hub, which is called peeking, I can simply email that person. If at any time I decide I don't want them in my favorites, I can right-click on their name and choose Remove from Favorites. And that is how you create a new contact in Outlook.